Say hi. <laughs> Holy cow, you should play the trumpet. <laughs> oh my god. That's what you got on camera now. It's like not about the air. You're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. Hey, my name is Alex. I have been at Sharky's tattooing for eight months. This week I have been finishing a sleeve that I started like a few weeks ago. It's all botanical, it's all nature and we're doing this week just full color. My client is just amazing, she laughs a lot, I love that. I try to find keywords for customers. I try to like find any little small details that this person likes and that's how I just come up with a great design. She just loves it, she went through my portfolio. She loved the floral and all like botanical art that I have made. So I love this piece because it's just teaching me how I have been improving and how much trust I have been putting on myself. It's just great to see the progress I have been making. I am very excited. This is going to be one of my most beautiful so far pieces and I'm just going to love it so much. <laughs> All right, so I had the opportunity to be able to start a large-scale cover-up on our client here with his back piece. He had his last name and some ancient chola in the middle of his back, and he has now gone full circle and decided that the tattoo that he got 30-something years ago is not something that he's interested in finishing as a back piece. Basically, the same process applies regardless. 99% of the time, I'm going to be drawing the stencil or the design out on the person, doing the best that I can to get the most uh, efficient and fitting cover up. So this was a bit of a challenge, but ultimately we were able to lay out the structure of it. And when we were in process, it was able to fit pretty well. There is going to be quite a bit of texturing um, that it's going to take to get to accomplish that cover up. But I think with the use of opaques and just a general technique that I like to use, mag drag and also stippling within this, we'll be able to get a really good texture to the face of the tiger. And then, you know, ultimately contrast is everything. So we're gonna build up a bunch of mid-tones. We're gonna do a whole bunch of gray work and, and a bunch of texture below on the bottom layers of the design. Uh, so what we did that day is we were able to go top to bottom, side to side, do cover his whole back with the general structure of the face of a tiger. So what you'll see here is basically just the black shadowed points of the stripes, the structural pieces of the nose and mouth, and the basic areas of the whiskers, along with the eyes. But you can still see some of the existing tattoo work showing below. This is a step-by-step -step process. You know, when it comes to cover-up, it's not like you just magically swoosh and you're done. It's a lot of times quite a, a bunch of healing times that are not the greatest situation, just the overall look of it, especially when you're working on this scale. And then from there, we'll, we'll be able to come back for a second session, find us at the Villain Arts Show. The second session will be happening on Friday, next coming month on the 8th and 10th. I believe that we'll be there on the 8th. So uh, this week was super fun. We um, we got a chance to do obviously some cool tattoos, but uh, you know we got to get out and do some fun stuff too. So you know we went out on Friday night, went out and picked up the old lady on my hog, and uh, got a chance to go meet everybody for some pizza at Bojo's. We came back here to the shop and opened it up, and uh, we sung some karaoke. Uh, we did get some Elvis out there. We got some cranberries going on. Zombie, eh, eh. 
And uh, Spencer, surprisingly, is decent at singing Elvis. And then after that, you know, we made sure to polish off a nice bottle of Tito's. Spencer challenged uh, Christian to a small fist fight, obviously with boxing gloves, super safe. And so we went back to our place and made sure that everybody got some rounds behind the gloves when they were super sober. But like anybody else who's willing to let people fight in their backyard, I definitely also got in there and got a little couple little rounds, but that was a lot of fun. Well guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share, hit all those buttons around here. We got lots of stuff coming up soon. So if you want to see more of this. And this. And this. And them. Come see us right here next week for our future events and recaps. I know you hate to see us go. But we love to watch you leave. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a blessed week. Sharky's Paradise After Dark. <laughs> Sharky's After Dark.